Come here, son. Nephew. Young man. Let me holler at you. This is probably going to take more than one video to discuss. But I want to talk about the topic of leadership. Some men are born to be leaders and it just happens. Sometimes God chooses you for that path. But sometimes people choose that path. And either way, you need to do some soul searching, some deep digging within your own soul. If you want to be a leader of men, you need to ask yourself, do you really want to be responsible for the outcome of others? I can tell you in the field of education, and it's partially because people, you know, people say teachers don't get paid enough. And if you took the number of months that a teacher works, and divided it by uh, nine, and you take that number and multiply, multiply it by three, or you could even say 10 months, divided by 10. That number you get, if you multiply it two more times for the two summer months, and really a third time, I guess, for the um, basically month that you get off if you count spring break, Easter and all that, uh, if you look at the actual time you're working, the number of dollars per hour, it actually can be competitive depending where you are in some places, uh, actually high. That's a different story for a different day. But what happens in the field of education, the maximum dollar amount after taxes people are left with they're not happy with sometimes. And they either don't have the wherewithal to go inside hustle or they feel entitled to more or whatever the case may be and i agree teacher pay should be higher but there's what should be and then there's what there is so what a lot of people will do is desire to move up into quote unquote leadership and what they don't realize is assistant principal principal that's middle management you really don't have as much control as you might think depending on who your superintendent may be. So that's the first thing. You know, I hear this cliche, understand the assignment. Okay, if you're gonna move up into leadership, you need to understand the assignment. And I was naive when I first moved up into education leadership as well. Uh, I had one idea of how it would go, but in reality, it depends on what type of, if we're talking about education, it depends on support from the community and from your superintendent. So, first of all, understand the assignment. Who and what would you be, quote unquote, leading? How much, how much authority do you actually have? Is it perceived or is it real? What are your actual responsibilities? What are your actual resources? Are you founding this thing from scratch? Is it something that you're just heading over, but it really belongs to someone else and you're just the face of it? Is it just a title with no real meaning behind it? Just to make you feel good because people call you by a title. So many people get duped into free work free labor and running themselves ragged and in circles behind a title sorry people don't know how to uh, navigate four way stop signs anymore you can get a lot of people to be gullible and work their tails off either for no raise at all or a small raise or no salary at all just for a title and a narcissist or a sociopath will eat a person like that alive because they can play to their ego and their emotions. They can make you think for this cause you need to give up everything, go broke. How you think some of these cults get people to move away from their houses and sell all their possessions? If you really think about it, pimps do the same thing with prostitutes. You know, yeah girl, I'm gonna make you a star, this, that, and the other. 
Um, you know, I'm not a pimp, so I can't, I can't, I can't talk like a pimp. Walk with like with a limp, and if you uh, are, <laughs> if you can't understand what I'm saying, uh, it's not because I'm talking too fast. You just need to listen faster. I'm not, I'm not eloquent with words and <laughs> and playing over people like that. That ain't me. I'm a straightforward person. Anyway, I think you get my drift. You need to ask yourself: Are you willing to admit uh, or omit excuses? From your vocabulary When you take a loss as a leader It's on you When your people take a loss as a leader It's on you Nobody wants to hear them excuses It's your fault Now when your people win You have to give credit to them But when something goes wrong Whether it's your fault or not You're going to be held accountable And responsible And you know people in America are allergic to accountable accountability and responsibility are you ready to give up nights of sleep as if you plan on being a good leader planning and preparation dealing with your subordinates personal problems because yes they're going to come to you for more than just work they're looking up to you for everything ready to deal with folks personal problems when somebody you count on is not themselves because their mother died or they're not there somebody who fills in the gaps for the weaker employees or subordinates or troops or whatever you don't have you don't have your swing man to play a bunch of different positions are you ready to do the work that somebody else doesn't do because you still got to get it done on behalf of your uh, organization because your name is on the line and somebody didn't show up? Do you actually have the knowledge base and experience for the job? It's one thing to want an extra check or to want a title, but do you actually know what you're doing? Are you actually capable? If it's your first time, you got the nuts to prove yourself. And if it's your first time, do you have thick skin? Because you're going to face criticism. And that's really if you experience too. But you're going to face criticism. Sometimes it's warranted. Sometimes it's not. You can't make everybody happy when you do the best job possible to perfection. Somebody still ain't going to be happy. Then when you do a bad job, you got some people who don't really want to work. So you give them a little time off by default. Now they're happy. Speaking of your subordinates, are they cutthroat? Do they actually support you? Or are they trying to set you up for failure? Because one of them wants your spot. Or they want somebody else to have your spot. And if they do support you, how far will they go? to accomplish the necessary goal in mind or the vision and mission of said organization. You might be willing to die behind it. They might think, ah, it ain't that serious. He doing too much. And do you actually have the skill? Experience is one thing. Knowledge is one thing. But do you actually have the ability for the task at hand? Sometimes a certain task may be specific to a certain role or a certain industry, and that may change if the scenario changes. Times change. Have you kept yourself up to date? What you knew 10 years ago, does it apply now? Does it apply to demogra different demographics, different regions? got to do soul searching before you jump into leadership if you're trying to do it right now if it's just about a paycheck just about a title just a stepping stone to get somewhere else okay will it come back to haunt you if people were counting on you and you actually didn't care about them and you just used them up and moved on because i'm here to tell you the people you step on to get ahead today you'll see them again and you reap what you sow. I know it's hard to explain that to people because people don't feel the consequences right away, but it's real. 
it's real. In the next version or the next part of this uh, series, we're going to talk about those subordinates more in depth. How much they can help you or how much they can damage you. And then we're talking about leading organizations and if you even want to be there or not. Is it the right fit for you? Just because you choose it or because it shows you that don't make it right. And if these things don't sound familiar, then you need to check out those videos. Chances are, if you tune into a channel like this, you got leadership qualities. It might be buried deep in you and you don't see it, but it's coming. Because only certain type of people are going to stick around here where most of the content is serious, rational, and logical, you know, with a few comic breaks in between, but, you know, enough to be still human. But, hey, as a man, sometimes you may go through stages where being robotic is darn near way of life. Um, you know, you can work your way to the point where you can kind of have some leisure. You might do it early. You might do it late. But this ain't for everybody. And that's okay. So you make sure you share this with any, any person, any man, young or old, who you think may benefit from it. Add your comments. Ask questions. You can support the channel by means that are posted in the comment section. But even if you don't want to, can't, whatever the case may be, the like button is free. The share button is free. The subscribe button is free also. If the content is something that you find of value. And as always, never lose the will to win and never lose the will to survive.